Hello and welcome to this new episode of TDO. I've set up this electronics workstation so I can start doing more circuits. I've been soldering for years, but as it's only been little bits here and there, the fumes have never bothered me. But now I'm going to start doing a lot more. I want to create a fume extractor to clean the air because I don't want to be bringing that in. So I had a look through my parts bin because it seemed like the kind of project I could start with. The first thing with any fume extractor is a fan and I had a nice 12 volt Panaflow. It's a brushless, DC brushless and it takes 12 volts and uh, it's just under an amp, it's 0.6 amp. And I had a nice grill with it to keep fingers out. So that was perfect, I thought. To power it, I found this old power supply. I think it was off a CD-ROM drive of some kind. You know, the ones that you used to have to buy SCSI, plug into your computer. So I think that went a long time ago, but I removed this because it seemed a nice and neat little power supply. It's all encased, so keeps all the mains voltages out of harm's way. Uh, and funnily enough, it outputs 12 volts at 0.6 amps. So seems perfect. Has the standard Molex connector on the end and the standard sort of kettle lead type and a simple on off switch. So perfect. Then I've got some carbon impregnated, active carbon impregnated uh, foam. So that'll be the part that will do the actual extraction of the uh, nasty flux fumes. And I've got a few different types uh, ordered from a well-known uh, auction site, probably come from China, took long enough. And then I've got, as the sort of intake port, uh, I've got this, which came off an old computer I stripped down. I think that went between the processor and the side of the case and allowed the hot air to be taken out. But I think that'll make a good uh, inlet as well. And then to house it all, I've got one of these. It's a three litre uh, plastic box. And the nice thing about this particular type uh, is that internal dimensions are square because all the strengthening is on the outside. And the aim is to put the intake on the end. Need a little, little bit of adjusting. And then to put the fan on the inside of the lid, pulling the air straight out the top. So let's see if we can put all these together and make ourselves a fume extractor for soldering.
I hope this has given you some ideas for your own homemade solder fume extractor. If you do a lot of soldering and you haven't got a fume extractor, get one. It's not worth your health. They're very easy as you've seen and hopefully I'm going to put this to good use now doing some retro refurb. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button, hit that small bell and that'll let you know when I've made a new video. I'm hoping to do at least one a month, maybe more. Stay with me and hopefully we'll go on a small adventure together. See you next time. We don't need to see his